Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video we're going to talk about GitHub Actions which was launched a couple of months back uh, by GitHub. This is one of the coolest features uh, um, GitHub has come up with. What it can do, it can simply trigger certain workflows uh, once uh, your application has been pushed, committed or, or you made certain pull requests from GitHub. Uh, what it what it can do is you can, can configure CI and CD for your applications or infrastructure. So basically you define uh, certain certain arguments into your YAML and uh, uh, GitHub is going to read that YAML and perform that for you on its own infrastructure. So consider this as a as, as Jenkins or VSTS or anything um, uh, which, which you could use. Um, it can support uh, majority of the runners, Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Uh, so if you've got your .NET applications, you can run it on Windows uh, build agents or, or runners. Or you can use Mac OS or if you've got your Apache web servers or a LAMP stack, you can use a Linux um, uh, containers. It can use uh, Docker uh, applications as well. So once you've written your application, once you've written your infrastructure, you can simply ask GitHub to do certain checks and deploy that infrastructure onto public clouds or tech stack. As you can see, it supports majority of the public clouds, uh, be, it, be it GCP, Azure, or AWS. It supports uh, any of the tech stacks like Go, uh, Java, Node.js, anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do create a sample um, sample uh, YAML file and, and uh, ask GitHub to, to, to uh, perform certain workflows and actions for us. So let's keep, go back to our, um, our our repo. So this is my one of my repo, and I'm creating a Terraform infrastructure. Um, it's it's quite neat infrastructure what I've created. Um, what I, I want to create, um, and it's simply creating a resource group and a storage account onto Azure. What I want is uh, to get started. You need to have a file named .github uh, and give it a slash workflows and underneath it create a YAML file. You can give it any name. Um, so uh, all you need to define your 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 workflows over here. So there are multiple workflows you can you can create. Either you can use custom workflows like you can ask GitHub to run a shell, PowerShell, Python, or a command prompt script. Or you can use uh, public workflows like Terraform GitHub Actions. Um, and I want uh, GitHub to perform anything onto this uh, repo whenever anything has been changed on to certain branch. So I can, I can, I have simply defined it on push trigger this workflow. I can also define something as on pull request and give it the branch name and then I've used push and I can use like branch like anything has been pushed to this particular branch I'm gonna define the branch name over here resource and then group so anything pushed to this branch trigger this flow workflow you can use uh, you can use uh, uh, ignore branches as well like branches hyphen ignore uh, but remember you can use only one of them so I'm gonna remove this and you can see the error has gone away I can use uh, tags as well and uh, give it like version 1.0 or version star version slash star could be anything I can use tags.ignore as well, but remember again, you can use either tags or tags.ignore, either branch or branch.ignore. I'm gonna remove this and remove this as well. This is not required. Let's come back to the job. So this is where you define your job. This is, uh, this is the core part where you kind of tell GitHub to do this when this happens. So I'm using a, a job name as Terraform and then give it as, as uh, given it a name. I want to do a Terraform initialization. I'm running on Ubuntu latest. This is the build agent. Um, you can use your custom as well. You can use Windows as well, but we would use a Ubuntu. Uh, we're using a step, certain steps, and you're using an initialization. We're using a uses parameter. Um, to, to, to explain this, this is considered this as like owner, GitHub, is, uh, HashiCorp is the owner, and then the name of the repo, sorry, I'm gonna do, uh, so, and the name of the repo, and then the uh, branch, so that's what they have done, they have done. Um, so if I go to the the public uh, repo, public branch, um, public repo of uh, HashiCorp, 
go to github actions i can see certain examples where they have pretty beautifully defined what you need to uh, which arguments you can use so that's what i have used as well I've then defined which Terraform version I want to use, then the initialization, or you can define format or anything plan over here as well. I'm using a init, and then I'm using a, a environment variable. This is used to authenticate uh, GitHub underscore token. This is by default. Uh, so you don't need to set anything anywhere. Uh, you just need to define the secrets dot github underscore token. Uh, GitHub is going to find it automatically uh, once it, it authenticates using your credentials. I have made certain changes what I would like to pull up in my terminal and see git status. All right, I'm gonna let's probably push it and then do um, get commit 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 description demo and then the get push all right this is going to be pushing in next few seconds and if i go to my repo you can see that something has been pushed less than a minute ago if i click on action you can see that the action has been triggered but it has failed uh, your workflow file was invalid expected format in line number 15 oh, all right uh, while I was explaining I forgot to remove this I'm gonna push my changes again um, so that has been pushed if I go to my actions I uh, remember I am on the same branch where I have has it failed again all right so and now I have successfully so you can see that github is trying to launch the the uh, terraform.yaml file and it has it is, uh, these are docker um, commands which is running it's pulling an image and then it's running terraform initialization and it has successfully initialized and you can see that it is recognized i'm doing it for azure rm and then i'm used a random um, a random module as well the job has been successfully completed i can add another job uh, i can probably add terraform validate do control c and paste it over here terraform validate and same goes over here replace init with validate and then i'm gonna push the changes and wait for my action to be triggered right from here so i'm gonna give it a refresh again and you can see that the terraform action has successfully picked up the changes and there are two jobs terraform init and validate what's been defined over here terraform init and validate and it's starting to pull the uh, image which container which we have defined right over here forming and the initialization looks to have been failed let's see that uh, the the init job was successfully triggered however the validate has been failed please run terraform init first so yeah so these this kind of go in hand and these needs to be um, needs to be defined together uh, so you can always uh, get a knack of it how you can um, get the init plan and apply right from here Go and go to examples, and there are a bunch of examples running right over here. So, what we are interested in is this was specifically for Terraform. Uh, I want to run a custom job, um, I want to run a, a shell script probably. So, what you can do is you can um, give it a name um, shell, shell job, 
how weird that name is but never mind um, I'm gonna give it a name that name's going to be what um, could be any any name um, like like a demo and then I'm gonna define on runs on runs on a Linux server remember these are all um, agents which are kind of by default uh, given by uh, github you can use your own as well and then I'm gonna define runs on and then I'm gonna do a steps and in the steps I'm gonna say a name name is like shell demo and then I'm gonna define a run probably echo um, I want to do a curl probably um, curl www dot google dot com and then type of shell is bash in place of bash you can define powershell had it been a powershell script you can define cmd or whatever or python as well alright um, a code looks good I would like to push it and go back to my branch and see um, has it done any good give it a refresh again and see that it has started to pick up the changes it's gonna do the inet first uh, because inet still exist and starting to pull the pull the repo and then do certain run certain commands do a terraform init successfully done the initialization do a post check and then it goes to demo in the demo you can see that it has successfully set up the job shell demo that's the name of the job we have defined over here and then we did run a curl of google.com which it has successfully done you can use if else you can use a lot of things in here uh, the documentation is pretty neat and clean um, so yeah that's that's pretty much all I hope this was informative um, this this uh, this feature is still very naive uh, if you would like if you have certain um, certain requirements and you would like me to make videos on that uh, leave a comment on, on down below and I would be happy to make a video on them as well Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, why don't you go ahead and uh, create a, an action file for your infrastructure or, or your application. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.